And so since the 1970s, basically, uh, we have not supported large-scale farming. Yeah? So if you look at bank programs, bank projects, since the 1970s, land policy, which then came out, uh, we've actually put uh, our support to smallholder farming. And that was for a number of reasons. But the first one basically has to do with an economic reason, and the second one with sort of a social reason. The economic reason is that economies of scale in agriculture are actually quite limited. Yeah? And remember, support for large farming would need to be based on an economies of scale argument. And the second reason is a more social one, and this came out through the research in the 90s, really. And that showed that uh, countries based on smallholder farming and with a more uh, equal dis distribution of land actually grow faster on average than countries with, that are dominated by large-scale farms. I think as we started ex experimenting and implementing these land registration systems, we found, first of all, uh, that uh, there were many other rights, other than individual rights, which, which needed to be secured first. So, for instance, the rights of the village, yeah? or, or the rights of a group within, within the village, before you even uh, could start with uh, registering uh, individual rights. And then we found that, especially in sort of land-abundant agriculture, where agriculture isn't as intensive yet, that you need to design very cost-effective solutions to this registration for it to make economic sense. Second of all, once you introduce title deeds reg reg registration, if you don't have good governance to start with, then so that people in the system can start misusing this new tool that they found. Yeah? Uh, that, that suddenly there's pieces of paper that they can maybe get their hands on to claim some sort of property rights. And, and, and often they're quite out of the view of the village or, 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 or the community. And that's uh, what's going on at the moment with some of these, these land, land grabs, yeah? that people are basically manipulating the system. And, and telling uh, gullible foreign investors that they can actually buy 30,000 hectares of empty land in Africa. And we talked at the conference about that, that these are basically myths. And, uh, uh, and that sort of... Uh, but that sort of land grab, that sort of speculation in land, can be supported by a title deeds system which is not, you know, qu quite as it should be, i.e. transparent to all to everybody understood by the local people. I do think that setting up these guidelines is an important uh, initiative. Just like the, uh, the, the EITI uh, initiative that uh, is in, uh, in minerals. Yeah? So I do think it's important. But I also drew the attention that getting this right you know, is not gonna, you know, um, is not gonna reduce hunger in Africa. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot and a lot more needs to be done, including following up on past initiatives. Yeah, for that to happen.